How can I normalize audio using FMPEG? I want the loudest peak sound in a movie clip to be as loud as the codec allows, then have every other sound amplified accordingly. What's a practical example in order to accomplish this using FMPEG? Option 1, Built-in Normalization Filters Current FMPEG has three filters that can be directly used for normalization, although they are already quite advanced, so they do not simply apply gain to reach a peak level. If you want a simple RMS-based or peak normalization to 0 dBFS, or any other target, go to the last section of this answer. The basic usage for a filter is Here are the three more advanced filters. Loud Norm, Loudness Normalization according to ABUR 128. You can set an integrated loudness target, a loudness range target, or maximum true peak. This is recommended for publishing audio and video and it is used by broadcasters all over the world. You should use this filter in a two-pass mode, so I recommend my wrapper script from PEG Normalize for it, for more info see below. Dynod Norm, Intelligent Loudness Normalization Without Clipping, which applies normalization dynamically over windowed portions of the file. This may change the characteristics of the sound, so it should be applied with caution. Example for medium level compression. Speech Norm, specifically made for speech normalization. See the examples here. Also, the volume filter can be used to perform simple volume adjustments. See the audio volume manipulation wiki entry for more. Option 2, use the FMPEG normalize tool. Since you should use the loud norm filter with two passes, and that might be a bit complicated to wrap in a script, I created a Python program to normalize media files, available on Pippi as well. You simply download from PEG, choose a static build, version 3.1 or higher. Put the FMPEG executable in your dollar path by either adding it in, for example, slash user slash local slash bin, or adding its directory to dollar path. Run, pip install FMPEG normalize. Use FMPEG normalize. For example, Or, to simply batch normalize a number of audio files and write them as uncompressed wave to an output folder. The tool supports ABUR 128, default, RMS and peak. Have a look at, FMPEG Normalize H, for more options and check the README for some examples. Also, it supports re-encoding with other encoders, for example, AAC or MP3, or automatic merging of the audio back into the video. Option 3, Manually Normalizing Audio with FMPEG In FMPEG you can use the volume filter to change the volume of a track. Make sure you download a recent version of the program. This guide is for peak normalization, meaning that it will make the loudest part in the file sit at 0 dB instead of something lower. There is also RMS-based normalization which tries to make the average loudness the same across multiple files. To do that, do not try to push the maximum volume to 0 dB, but the mean volume to the dB level of choice, for example minus 26 dB. Find out the gain to apply. First you need to analyze the audio stream for the maximum volume to see if normalizing would even pay off. Replace slash def slash null with null on Windows. The VN, SN, and DN arguments instruct FMPEG to ignore non-audio streams during this analysis. This drastically speeds up the analysis. This will output something like the following.
As you can see, our maximum volume is minus 5.0 dB, so we can apply 5 dB gain. If you get a value of 0 dB, then you don't need to normalize the audio. Apply the volume filter. Now we apply the volume filter to an audio file. Note that applying the filter means we will have to re-encode the audio stream. What codec you want for audio depends on the original format, of course. Here are some examples. Plain audio file, just encode the file with whatever encoder you need. Your options are very broad, of course. AVI format, usually there's MP3 audio with video that comes in an AVI container. Here we chose quality level 2. Values range from 0 to 9 and lower means better. Check the MP3 VBR guide for more info on setting the quality. You can also set a fixed bitrate with B column 192 k for example. MP4 format, with an MP4 container, you will typically find AAC audio. We can use FMPEG's build in AAC encoder. Here you can also use other AAC encoders. Some of them support VBR, too. Who? See this answer in the AAC encoding guide for some tips. In the above examples, the video stream will be copied over using C column V copy. If there are subtitles in your input file, or multiple video streams, use the option MAP0 before the output file name. I cannot comment on the best message so that is my ugly bash based on it to do that. Here's a script to normalize sound levels of M4A files. Watch out if the sound levels are too quiet to start with. The final sound can be better if you use something like Audacity in that case. I'd like to offer my own FMPEG based solution normal way for people who are new to FMPEG and seeking alternatives to heavy and inaccurate software, Adobe Audition in my case. After setting up only 7 parameters, you have to click a single button, select the files and wait. It is as simple as possible. The script will read stats and apply up to 9 passes to some of the files to obtain your desired parameters, integrated loudness, loudness ratio, 
and maximum true peak. You'll need Excel 2016 or later. It has a user-friendly interface. There are built-in instructions, links to the latest editions of FinPEG and FLAC, and entry fields descriptions with bits of theoretical information. Select the audio filter, volume or loud norm. Select your input and output files extensions, WAV, FLAC, MP3, or WebM. Type in your parameters, EEL, VRA, and TP, and the sample rate. The built-in check in every field won't let you input FMPEG unacceptable values. Or click delete slash backspace for default values. In the beginning and in the end your files will be renamed back and forth to prevent FMPEG failure. When job is done, you can analyze that files and text reports created in the working folder to decide what you should do with the final results. No matter what filter you choose, the first pass is always the reading stats with loud norm. There may be up to 9 passes, depending on your desired output parameters. Decreasing where is a very difficult task, 